open the gate so they could get back in. Hi Scarlett. Did you hear the ducks? Okay, wait for mama. Playing, running around outside, playing in the mud. That didn't stop Scarlett from wanting to get a drink. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Oh, where are you going? Do you see the ducks? The gate. You need to come through first. Scarlet has a fascination with shutting doors. Yes. Is it stuck? Can you lock it? Can you put the latch through? Almost. Yeah. I think Scarlett's telling me something again. Oop. Off she goes. We planted Swiss chard for the first time and they're about that tall. It's exciting seeing things start to grow, knowing that we're gonna get to harvest and enjoy it fresh. This whole area was grass. We pulled up the sod so we could plant my garden. Look who's hiding in the rose. You see that, frog? That's so cool. There goes Scarlet again with her stairs. Scarlett enjoys feeding them every day. We have wild salmon berries growing in our backyard. Scarlett saw me pick it. You want to eat it? Can you say please? Yeah. Please. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You going to eat it? Scarlett, are you going to share with Mama? Um, nope, not this time. Here you go, Scarlet. Mommy's got one for you. What do you say? Say thank you. We pick the ripe ones. Yes. Oh, you found one. Good job. The white ones aren't ready. The ones that come off easy are the ones that are ready. How are they? Are they good? Hi. Love you. What are some ways that you can be sustainable where you're currently at? I know there's a lot of ways to grow your own food, whether you live in an apartment, a house, whether you have a yard or you don't, you can get creative and grow things in pots. You can turn your lawn into garden. So, you know what, we can all take individual steps to be more sustainable and to grow our own food. So I encourage you to do so. I'd also love to hear what you have growing in your gardens and if you tried anything new this year. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Someone's getting tired. Mm. 
<laughs> Are you tickling mommy? Are you tickling my face? <laughs> it's more like poking it. <laughs> no! When Scarlet gets tired, she does everything she can to fight sleep. She'll start twisting her body around, she'll want to switch sides, she'll try to stand up, and it's her way, I think her last ditch effort to not fall asleep. You can tell in her eyes though, she's really tired. <laughs> what do your little ones do to try to avoid sleeping? Do you know what these are? I thought maybe they were going to be an elderberry, but I've never seen a red elderberry. This old tree trunk has to be one of my favorite parts of our property. It's out in a field, and it has so much growing around it. I know it's gotta have a lot of powerful benefits to it. We have, right up here, are some wild huckleberries, and they're starting to change colors. So I'm not sure what color they're supposed to be when you eat them, but they're a reddish orange right now. And then right over there in the middle is Salal, and they kind of like a small wild blueberry. And then of course you have the wild rose hips down there. There's blackberries mixed in, and then you've got your stinging nettles. So there's five wild edibles all within the one, and who knows what all the other stuff is on it. I love all of the wild flowers. I'm assuming they're weeds, most of them, but they're beautiful. And that is a tour of our homestead, parts of it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with those that you know, as well as subscribe to our channel to become part of our YouTube family.